everyone, this is Eileen from Northern Light Tarot. The title of this reading is, Does He or She Love Me? And What's Next for Us? So for this reading, all you need to do is just imagine this person who's on your mind, just picture them for a moment, and then choose between these three sets of cards here. I'll just change the screen so you have a much closer up view of them. So this is set of cards number one, this is set of cards number two, and this is set of cards number three. So I'll just give you a moment. So right now I'm just gonna place aside set of cards number two and set of cards number three. And go ahead with this set of cards number one. So before I get started, I'd quickly like to mention if you'd ever like a highly personalized video recorded reading with me, all of the details to book are in the description box below and you can book via Etsy or via PayPal. I also offer a reading with a turnaround time of within 24 hours and again all of the details to book are in the description box below but right now I want to go ahead with this reading does he or she love me and what's next for us so you and your energies in this connection them and their energies in this connection your feelings towards them their feelings towards you your past together present together future together and the outcome card not to be taken in the literal sense but to be interpreted and here are our clarifying cards so let's take a look you and your energies them and their energies and let's take a look at this past position so we've got some very heavy energies going on here in this reading for those of you it resonates with uh, we've got the ten of swords in the past position and this you know, truly is one of those cards that, you know, it can, especially in this placement, uh, you know, represent a, a relationship that's come to a painful end, okay? Um, so I'm so sorry if that's the case uh, for you right now, that that's where you are. Um, so either one of you could be an earth sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, um, especially them, don't need to be, and I'm seeing strongly that one or the other of you also could be earth sign so capricorn virgo taurus but what i am seeing here is um some very difficult energies that i see that, you, that both of you are working through right now um you're being represented by the five of pentacles and you know this is literally the card of you know truly feeling left out in the cold here okay truly missing somebody and you know, for them as well, the Five of Swords. Um, this is harsh energy. Um, for some of you, this could be to do with a third party situation. So there could be another person either side here. Okay, you could be with somebody else. They could be with somebody else. You both could be with other people. Okay. Um, and so it could be a case of, you two haven't decided to go, on, to go your own ways right now. Um, you know, especially if it's third party, I am also, like I said earlier, seeing that this is a split. Um, it could be as well that this didn't go the way it was supposed to go, the way that you were expecting it to go. Uh, this could be a, a case of somebody, okay, I, I have to say it when I see it, um, somebody you, you could have had a really quite a good start with um, and now they've kind of not been very nice to you they could have ghosted you they could have been making excuses not to see you um, or there could even have been an argument okay um, but things didn't go the way that you were hoping so there, there are you know it's, it's heavy energies we've got here we, we can't deny it okay we, we just can't um, so let's keep going your feelings towards them there we have it so the three of swords so this is a heartbreak situation that, that 
there is no doubt about it here. There, there are deep emotions involved. You are feeling very, very heartbroken. And I'm so sorry if this is resonating. Um, let's take a look at their energies towards you. Two of Swords. So this could be that they're, they are literally, you know, they, they, what I'm getting here now is that they, they want to be with you, okay? But there's a very difficult decision for them to make, okay? If this has been a split, I feel that they haven't been good to you, okay? And they know that approaching you is going to be hard, but they truly want to. If it is their party, um, they do, they desperately want to make the decision to be able to come towards you, but they could even be dealing with like a very manipulative energy around them, okay? So um, for, for some of you, you know, like I said, this person hasn't treated you very well, it may have got, got off to a good start, just be cautious because um, it could be that they're, they've got other options, okay? But what I want to do now, that's kind of like the scenarios. I wanna like just take at least a card or two just to go deeper into their energy here, okay? About what's truly going on with them. We've got some raw emotions at play here. There is no doubt about that, okay? Let's take a look. Okay, deep energies, deep, deep energies. Soul searching. There's something going on around them or with them, okay? Regardless of the scenario, regardless. Let's take a look. They want to send you a passionate message. Let's take another. This can be very kind of sexually aggressive sometimes, okay? I don't mean that in like in a bad way. I just mean that they, they feel like they just really, really want you, okay? Um, but for, for some reason they can't have you okay I'm just getting that oh yes it's very like the the sexual energies here are off the scale okay I can tell you that absolutely wow um they they find you extremely attractive okay um they really want to be with you okay but there's something there's a choice that they've got to make okay regardless of your scenario okay let's keep going ten of wands so this could be there could be something in the way here as regards a workplace scenario okay maybe like the energy i'm getting is that um it's it's too risky um there's definitely that it's too risky you know in many workplaces these days you know people seeing each other especially if it's like a boss and an employee okay um that could be big issue here okay um i'm also seeing that you know if this has been a split um that the energies right now are just desperately heavy okay very very heavy energies and i do feel that there just doesn't need to be um a time period here you know the question for this reading was you know does he or she love me we have the lovers in that energy so the answer is yes okay but there are blockages here there's no doubt about it could even be distance I'm seeing distance okay a big decision okay to be made 
let's see eight of cups going forwards and oh okay so immediately going forwards confusion kind of disassociation disconnect um the, the energy is not being right that the, the situation not being right more time being needed um for for all of this to sort sort itself through because very often you know and i'm especially seeing it here in this reading you know time time is is what's important okay things sort themselves out in time and sometimes things just can't be forced okay um and the eight of wands is really good as the outcome card okay because this this truly does speak of unexpected but very good communication coming towards you and we've got this page of wands here so in time i feel that the decision is going to be made and they are going to come back towards you and they they want to take this to the next level with this lover's energy so risk and forgiveness so this is about whatever's happened in the past because something has happened here um it's about forgiving that and wiping the slate clean we have the forgiveness card so stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste you create your reality by what you think dream and imagine so this is law of attraction stuff and i think it's on both sides here there are blockages there is there are risks to take but i do feel that that the risks are worth taking here okay whatever your scenario let's take a card for overall clarity guidance and prediction So this ten of wands, four of swords, there is there is kind of like an interim period here and it's very, very necessary. Okay. I see that especially if it's been a split. Okay, but whatever the scenario, there's there's time and recovery and decisions all kind of rolled into one here. Okay. Um so you know, overwhelmingly to answer your question uh does he or she love me the answer is absolutely yes and something is going to happen when when you're least expecting it that is going to move this absolutely forward in the right direction uh if you'd like to join me over on vimeo i'm going to extend this reading uh this is your set of corresponding set of cards number one here um and it's the first link in the description box below but i just want you to know if you decide not to join me over there that that you know things may be really difficult right now okay but things are going to get better and this person truly does love you okay and i do see lots of blocks and lots of difficulties but overwhelmingly with this eight of wands i do see it truly going in the right direction okay uh, so right now i'm going to move on to set of cards number two So right now, I'm moving on to set of cards number two. And the title of this reading is, Does He or She Love Me? And What's Next for Us? So just as I place the cards down, I'd quickly like to mention, if you'd ever like a highly personalized video recorded reading with me, all of the details to book, are in the description box below and you can book via etsy or via paypal um, i also offer a reading with a turnaround time of within 24 hours and again all of the details to book are in the description box below but right now i want to go ahead with this reading 
Does he or she love me? And what's next for us? So you and your energies in this connection, them and their energies in this connection, your feelings towards them, their feelings towards you, your past together, present together, future together, and the outcome card, not to be taken in the literal sense, but to be interpreted. And here are our clarifying cards. So let's take a look. You and your energies, them and their energies. And let's take a look at this past position. I feel this person's been trying to, to make you aware of them, okay? Um, we've got this Knight of Wands in the past position, so, you know, they could strongly be a Leo, Aries, Sag. They could also be a water sign, uh, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, they don't need to be. You could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, don't need to be. Also, you could be a water sign. Um, what I'm seeing here is they... They are, they're very, very passionate about you and they have been for quite some time, okay? They are um, looking at you and they are seeing an empress, okay? And that that's what I'm getting here massively. And they just feel, kind of get the energy that they, they feel like you, you could reject them, okay? I see that they feel that you're happy where you are, okay? But actually, you are trying to send them the message that you want them, okay? I, I'm getting, and I'm getting passionate energies from you historically towards them also, okay? So I've got like, it's kind of like both of you aren't quite sure how the other one feels, Okay. Um, so you could may, may never have been in a relationship. For others of you, there has been a split and they've tried to come back towards you or you tried to go back towards them and it just hasn't manifested. I, I see like arguments. I see um, you can't agree. You can't get beyond, you can't get beyond what's gone before, okay? And I'm seeing like lots of talking about past events, okay? Um, but ultimately, in this kind of energy now, you just both don't know what's going on, okay? And like, you're kind of not giving up, but you're just having to get get on with it okay whatever the scenario nine of pentacles that's you know you standing there looking great projecting it all out um but i feel like both of you may be wearing some kind of mask here okay trying to cover up how you truly feel okay um because they're looking down here and they are very very upset but it's it's kind of hidden, they're not showing their face. They're not showing how they truly feel. They're looking down, but they are feeling it. Let's take a look. Your energy towards them, the hanged man. Their energy towards you, yeah, they, they're really, they, 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 they do love you, absolutely, my goodness. Um, they're kind of heartbroken here that this has not, it's not happening. Okay, whatever, whatever the scenario, Wheel of Fortunes, like twin flame soulmate energy. Okay, I feel that you just, you need to get, you need to be more sure about the true intentions here with this hanged man energy and you're holding off. That's some of you, you're holding back. You're waiting for them. They've got to, they've got to prove themselves to you and they should, they, they need to. Okay, because some of you, they may have come towards you in the past and then they just disappeared. And so now you're like, no, 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 no. Um, I'm not down with that. You know, uh, nah, here I am. Um, and if you want me, you need to come and get me the right way. Don't be like in and out, this hot and cold. No, I'm not doing that. 
Okay, that's for some of you. You're like standing there saying, hey, I'm worth more than that. So, um, and they, they've, they've shot themselves in the foot. They've, uh, they've realized now exactly how they do feel about you. But for you, it's kind of like, well, now you need to prove it then. Now you need to actually do some, you know, you need to emotionally mature somewhat because, you know, I need to hear it. I need to hear the words. That's, that's where you are. I need to hear these words. I deserve these words. Um, the true words of truly how you feel. Stop, you know, sh you know, trying to cover it up. Tell me. Because they do feel it. Let's see. You both want this. The Hierophant energy. Um, stability, marriage. You know, I can see here you two are... Yeah, there's a, there's deep, deep energies here. Let's take a look. Yeah, the very deep energies because going forward, you're both very ungrounded, very emotional. Um, they might have said they were going to come and see you. They could be at a distance from you and they said they were going to come and then they didn't. Um, or there was an argument. Um, but I see a real depth of emotion on both sides here, okay? It's making you both ungrounded and um, very emotional. Like, you, you can't think about anything else other than each other. Let's take a look. Seven of Pentacles. Meditation and embrace. Oh, I like this. I've got very passionate energies here. There's love. There's definitely love. You know, they're being represented by the Five of Cups. They definitely have loving energies towards you. There's absolutely no doubt about that. They, they feel like you could absolutely be their, their person. But, but still, there's something surrounding them. You know, they... They're just not opening up. And this is what needs to happen. Embrace through each other. You find the missing pieces. So sometimes when a connection is so strong, it gets scary. And um, <clears throat> and then, you know, this is where this hot and cold energy comes in. And, you know, you know you're fragile, they're fragile. You feel so strongly that... You know, you're wearing your heart on your sleeve. You're scared to get, you're getting hurt. You know, you're getting worried, you're getting fearful. And there's desperation both sides here and frustration with this seven of pentacles. You both need to kind of relax and take it one day at a time, okay? Because there's something very special here. Let's... some more cards there we go ace of cups they love you wow this is like I said you know the hierophant this is stability. This can represent a church wedding. And here we have the Ace of Cups, the proposal. Wow. You know, this is this is a very, very significant energy we've got going on here. Um, yeah, they love you. Absolutely. Um, so uh, I'm going to extend this over on Vimeo. Um, I'm really interested to see what comes through. Uh, so, you know, the energies going forwards, um, future developments, guidance, prediction. Um, if you'd like to join me, then this here is your set of cards number two. And it's the first link in the description box below. Uh, that was a really good reading. I just want you to know if you decide not to join me on Vimeo, that this person on your mind, they do love you, whatever the scenario here. And um, it's like they miss you and they just want to, embrace you and there's there is this frustration both sides okay um so yeah now i'm going to move on to set of cards number three
So right now, I'm moving on to set of cards number three. title of this reading is does he or she love me and what's next for us and before I get started I'd quickly like to mention if you'd ever like a highly personalized video recorded reading with me all of the details to book are in the description box below and you can book via Etsy or via PayPal I also offer a reading with a turnaround time of within 24 hours and again all of the details to book are in the description box below. But right now, I want to go ahead with this reading. Does he or she love me? And what's next for us? So you and your energies in this connection. Them and their energies in this connection. Your feelings towards them. Their feelings towards you. Your past together. Present together. Future together. And the outcome card. Again, not to be taken in the literal sense, but to be interpreted. And here are our clarifying cards. So let's take a look. You and your energies. Them and their energies. And let's take a look at this past position. So I want to just keep going. Your energies towards them, their energies towards you. So um, I feel here that there's some miscommunication between you and this person, or there hasn't been um, the amount of communication that needs to happen in order for, you know, you to fully understand them, okay? Um, I feel that they're kind of holding back their true feelings, okay? Um, and you're not going towards them either. You're being represented by the Eight of Swords, so you could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, don't need to be, but this is telling me that you are thinking and thinking and thinking constantly about this person and you're wanting them to open up to you with this King of Cups, okay? This is top of the Cups energy. They could be a water sign, so Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. And um, what I want you to know is they, they feel a tremendous amount for you. Okay, they're being represented by the world card. This is the top of the entire deck of tarot. You know, they absolutely, they, they think the world of you. Um, you could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sag, and they could be water, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. So they're like, they're like um, very deep. I get a very, a, a very deep energy from them. And sometimes they just can't say how they feel um, and they see you as highly, highly confident. Uh, and I feel this is part of the reason why they're, they're just, they're very fragile and they're just too worried to open up. And I can see that one or both of you, and I'm seeing both of you, I feel like you've had some tough times in the past, okay? With this Queen of Pentacles, I feel like you've both been through a lot in the past. And um, it's sort of made you both put your guards up to an extent, okay? Um, because Queen of Pentacles, she's highly resourceful, highly self-sufficient, and she protects her security, okay? Um, so, and that can represent so many things. So it's kind of like just, I feel like you both might be too scared to just let somebody in, okay? Um, because you are fragile. But there's real feelings here. Truly there is. So let's keep going. Yeah, you both want this. You could both be earth signs. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, don't need to be, but you both want to manifest this in the 3D. I can see this, absolutely, but it's a big leap from the Queen to the King of Pentacles. Because the Queen's solo okay um and she's very orientated towards just keeping everything stable the king of pentacles is much it's kind of like more confident more more sure of not i guess you could say like more sure and 
truly willing to manifest. So the feelings are all there, but it's not, it's not turned to action yet, okay? Uh, let's, oh, but this is lovely. Three of Cups, I see like you two are just very blended. You like fit together like a hand in a glove, okay? Strawberries and cream. Um, you complement each other. You blend. And there's a beautiful friendship here, okay? You could work together. You could be friends in a social circle. Um, and you always enjoy the time you get to spend together. That might not be very often, but you do enjoy it. Like, it lights up your whole week when you get to be in that energy. Let's keep going. Oh, I like this. Magician energy. The card of action, because you both want the action. King of Pentacles. So, going forwards, I do see this developing. I see a brand new beginning. Let's see. Let go and time. So, this is about letting go of fear for both of you. Okay? Let go and, and go with the flow. Let, let it unfold. And don't stress about it. You're trying too hard. Give it time. So that's lovely. I, f I feel this is like a, 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 a new relationship for many people. And... You're both stressing about it, but you don't need to because the feelings are real. There's a loving energy developing between you two. Let's take another card. Let's see. Yeah. There we go. That's lovely. So I see like there's courage needed on both sides here to like kind of take it to the next level. I feel like they're going to be the one to do it. Okay. They're going to take the action towards you. I just saw the Ace of Swords. I was about to take a card for you. And that's about coming out of this Eight of Swords energy. Okay. Ten of Cups. Know that anything's possible here. It's all possible. Ten of Cups. It's like ultimate card for a loving bond and union. So don't stress. Just let it unfold. How beautiful. That's really, really nice. Um, so yeah, I feel that there's love on both sides here. Uh, I just feel that it hasn't been verbalized okay but i do see a beautiful new beginning um if you'd like to join me over on vimeo i'm going to go deeper into the energies future guidance uh, and prediction for you and this person on your mind this is your set of cards number three here if you decide to join me if you don't decide to join me i just want you to know that we do have the incredible magician energy here okay um and i feel that there is loving energy between both of you and a, a, a new beginning, okay, going forwards. So uh, I'll leave the reading there and I really hope that you found it helpful. Bye.